Hi, I'm Christian Calcano. I'm from New York. Uh, I top aided Pro Tour Almanquette last year. I'm a gold level pro and uh, I'm gonna do my best this next season. Yeah, so we are both teammates uh, from Hario X, right? What do you think about the team? Uh, yeah, the team I think is great. Uh, we have multiple Hall of Famers, yeah. <laughs> many, many Pro Tour top eights among us, and I think we have a good chance for top, uh, Team Series top two. I think so as well. So to, today we're gonna play Legacy because of Prime Kishizuoka. Um, I'm gonna be playing Jack Pile or four, co four Color Control, and Christian is playing what? Uh, I'm playing Grixis Control and with uh, some new. Yeah, kills are random cards. Yeah, we are, we are both playing some new cards. I'm playing Assassin's Trophy and Christian is playing... Uh, I'm playing Playcrafter and uh, Rao is the Viceroy. Awesome. Okay, let's get to the games. Good luck. I start. Okay. Good luck. My hand is really good, so I'm gonna keep it for sure. Yeah, it has a good mix of spells and land, so. Sorry. Yeah, my hand is pretty good. I got some uh, good spells, I got some lands, and uh, I have a game plan, so let's go. <laughs> Nothing. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna see what you're working with. Mm, strong, strong. You have brainstorm? Uh, 19. Brainstorm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I need to hide. I thought. I need to hide my good cards. It resolves. I see. Well, I'm gonna take the wonder. Mm -hmm. I think I got does anything that I can take. Yes. Can't take Jace, so your turn. Yeah, I would have liked to keep the ponder, but do you have baffle sticks on the top? No, I have a tutorial. Oh no! Yes, yes. That's <laughs> why. That's why I didn't uh, turn one fetch and ponder. Well, oh, I can't do anything about it. So, you wanna roll? Sure. So okay, one, one, two, one, six. One, six. Three, three, and one, one five. five. roll. Two. Okay. Five. Something good. Ooh, oh, I hope he's manuscript. No. Go. <laughs> no, no. Maybe manuscript, maybe. Two spells. Well, for lightning bolt, he has he has to fetch, so I'm just gonna take the push. Sure thing. Your turn. Yeah, and I'll choose to not fetch. It's more. It's more. I'm hoping to draw a lead here or brainstorm. Oh no no no! no. no. Now I will fetch. So Liana. Oh yes. no. Plus. Your turn. I'm just getting destroyed here. Yeah, the planeswalker. <laughs> One, go. Um, 
eight minus. I think I want to wait on this. So I have no fetch line, so I'll just plus. Yeah. It's your turn. Oh. Yes. Uh, let's plus first. Sure. I don't want to forget. Ouch. Fifteen. Yes. Yeah. And I don't like my chances. Great so. Yep. It is, but I still can't really play anything. <laughs> I'm just gonna conceive. I had free confidence when you played this. No. <laughs> uh, these are cyborg out because uh, uh, matchup feels like it's mostly about uh, uh, card advantage. So I don't really want to two for one myself with this. And uh, I already have. Uh, I'm bringing in. Uh, uh, extra Liliana, and uh, so I don't want uh, that many removal spells. He only has uh, Dark Confidant as like best target, so and I know he brings in Tarmogoyf, so push is just better than Lightning Bolt here. And uh, so, uh, I don't want uh, too many discard spells as well, plus that board. So I, I leave in one Thoughtseize and uh, him to Torox, I think is good enough. You know, I'm bringing in uh, these. Uh, he has uh, two basics, but uh, Blood Moon will help make sure that he can't cast Jace, which is nice. Uh, you know, these are kind of self-explanatory for like his powerful blue spells. Uh, true name as a, just another very difficult to deal with wind condition, and uh, Liliana, which is great against to pick off his uh, Baleful Strixes and uh, his Dark Confidants. You're playing very similar decks, so. Uh... For the same reasons as Christian said, I don't want to follow him myself, so I'm burning out force. And he doesn't really play any creatures besides like Bathos Tricks, so I'm burning out these free removal spells. And I'm just bringing in cards that do something. I don't think they're like great, but they are better than the cards that I'm burning out, so. Well, I don't have any lands, so I have to walk in. Basically, what Petter said. Mm -hmm. Well, this hand has lands and spells, so it's better than the last one. I'm just gonna keep. Yeah, this hand, uh, I think it's a, a little risky, but you know, I have uh, I have some action, so I think I think it's worth keep. Okay, let's let's try. Try. I think I'm gonna keep it on top. Uh, that's uh, we don't need any more of those. Yeah. But, yo. Ooh. 
<laughs> okay. All right. Plus. Yeah. Ooh, I'll keep that shot like that. Oh no. Okay, go. <laughs> Don't do it. Is it a blood one? It's just <laughs> Said well, the Ahan seems yeah pretty pretty unreal. It seems like the green cards don't really like add anything in this matchup, so you just have like a better mana base with Blood Moons and Liliana is also well, just insane. I think if you have like more Tarmogoyf, then I can see that being a problem for this deck. Sure, because Tarmogoyf seems pretty difficult for me to deal with. Yeah, but it's still bad against both Strix and Jace. So true, true. But you, know, you, you could also be have Liliana of your own to yeah, yeah. help deal with like Bale Strix. Yeah, but like the Planeswalkers all seem pretty great. Yeah, it's unfortunate that you didn't draw the draw. Wow, yeah, yeah, that would have been nice. So yeah, I think that's all for today. Uh, we would like you if you subscribed or like give us a like or something like that. Uh, and see you next time. Yeah, see ya.